Blog Talk Radio. Hello everyone and welcome to my show. I'm your host Diana Bewaroff, award winning a best selling author, The Fire and Ice, The Journey of Transformation, The White Within. You can find out more about me and my books on my website, dianabewaroff.com, as well as I have free one hour consultation for everybody who has questions about their life, obstacles they're facing, and everything that keeps them from being the kind of person they want to be and uh, keeping them from uh, having the life they always wanted as well as uh, this includes being happy and enjoying the short period of time we have here on this uh, beautiful earth. So today I would like to cover a very pivotal topic that I feel is really important and it's kind of missing in this world and um, I feel that people uh, don't know how to connect to each other, how to understand each other, and how to interact when it comes to people from different cultures and people who have different uh, understanding of the world and uh, how important it is to connect to each other so we can save the planet, save the animals and everything what is going on in the world right now. It's not something we would like to uh, to see when it comes to um, hate, violence, wars, um, and uh, we need uh, to learn about this topic. It's really, really important, and it's called humanity. According according to Merriam-Webster, humanity is compassionate, sympathetic, or generous behavior or a disposition, the quality of state of every human being. So this is uh, something I feel that we need to all bring back into our lives as in um, the way the things are working right now in the society um, are not what we wish to uh, see. And we don't have love, we don't have compassion, we don't have kindness. And we need to work on these things in order for us to unite and start working on preserving the planet and doing something about the things which are really important. And there is something else, a definition I want to read that it's called human rights are also guaranteed people the means necessary to satisfy their basic needs such as food, housing, and education so they can take full advantage of all opportunities finally by guaranteeing life, liberty, equality, and security. Human rights protect people against abuse by those who who are more powerful. So right now we are facing a lot of people who are... um, outside on the cold and I'm here in California and I feel so sad and kind of impacts me a lot. It takes my energy even out when I'm driving around and see people on the cold, see people on the rain and the rain is pouring over uh, their bodies and this cold rain and this cold temperature and this is not what uh, we should witness and we need to do something again about these people and in order to do it we need to open our hearts and bring the light we carry inside back into the world because this is how the uh, transformation begins and this is how we will be able to preserve the planet again so the importance of humanity this is an article I found and I would like uh, to read it for you So we can get familiar and I would definitely, definitely suggest to um, share this podcast. And I know that um, we don't have time to sit on um, media places and start doing research because lives have become really tense and really um, unendurable. And there's so many things we need to take care of during the day 
holiday is not enough, but it doesn't mean that we need to let go of the human, a very important human trait, which makes us human, and it's called empathy. So the importance of humanity, religion is a broad entity that should add some higher purpose to one's life and keep you grounded. It is not just a set of rules and teachings that you must devote your life to. It's what to take from any religion that's important. All religions give them teaching of love, peace, and unity. It should be something to believe in and not just something to define our very actions and thoughts. The most important requirement is peace. Where there is peace, there is abundance. For me, the most important religion is humanity. Just being a good human being defines you everywhere. All that you need to work upon is being helpful to the needy at all times and every place, being loving and caring towards all living beings, even plants and animals, and above all, to understand another person's problem and realize the situations that they're in and be considerate. Humanity means caring for and helping others whenever and wherever possible. Humanity means helping others at times when they need that help the most. Humanity means forgetting our selfish interests at times when others need our help. Humanity means extending unconditional love to each other and every living being on earth. If eating and having fun is only what we are born to do, then we should keep, keep on saying in mind, even animals can do this. One does not need a hefty bank account to contrib- contribute towards humanitarian activities. Staying out domestic help fairly is also humanity. Lifting the heavy bag for an old woman is humanity. Helping a disabled person to cross the road is humanity. Helping our mom to in chores is humanity. In fact, helping anyone who is in need is humanity. As soon as we understand the importance of humanity in day-to-day life, the purpose for which we are on earth is automatically fulfilled. Abu Dhabi, the capital park in Abu Dhabi, is being transformed into a sparkling festival of lights and color as it has the first night market from Friday, October 21st, 25th to 27th. A three day celebration that will run every evening from 6 p.m. to midnight as part of Abu Dhabi Monument. The Diwali Night Market is part of Downtown Monuments, which aims to promote inclusion and build a strong sense of community celebrating all members of the society. The Indian community forms a large segment of the Abu Dhabi population in Diwali. It's one of the largest celebration festivals in India. The capital turns into a festival full of light colors and celebrations. The free event includes variety traditional Indian foods in addition to the delectable selection of ethnic culinary offerings, live performance, festive music, and endless shopping to entertain the whole family. On the occasion, Sultan Al Mutawa, Al Dabet, Executive Director of Community Participation in the Sports Sector of the Department of Community Development, said that. Duali Night Market reflects the aim of community development department to include all segments of society in its initiatives and programs. So this is something that is being celebrated in India in order to include everybody and it needs everybody for all of walks of life. So it's, it's really for all of us to start including everyone and start educating ourselves about other cultures, other people, so we can understand them better and um, start connecting to each other. So here it is on nine reasons why humanities matter. So I'm going to read it to you and I hope this is going to help you 
understand how important is the humanity for the society, especially nowadays. The humanities help us understand others through their languages and cultures. They foster social justice and equality, and they reveal how people have tried to make moral, spiritual, and intellectual sense of the world. The humanities teach empathy. They teach us to deal critically and logically with subjective, complex, imperfection information. And they teach us to weigh evidence skeptically and consider more than one side of every question. Humanities students speak deep in writing and critical reading. The humanities encourage us to think creatively. They teach us to reason about being human and to ask questions about our world. The humanities develop informed and critical citizens. Without a humanities, democracy could not flourish. I believe these plans, and I know they're based on solid research. I see much more too. For example, I think that innovations based on research results in the natural science and medicine are more likely to be successful if their implementation is carried out in collaboration with humanities. But for now, let me say just say one thing. The arguments in the list above are quads. They come from exciting infographic put together by some creative researchers working in a whole new field called digital humanities. And that leads me to my tenth reason. If it weren't for the humanity, humanities, we couldn't have the digital humanities. What's your best reason for thinking humanities are important? If, if you have one life, send me a tweet or put it in the comment below. And if I get enough, I'll include you in the blog post. So this is from the person who wrote this, the humanities matter. The humanities are academic disciplines that seek to understand and enter the human experience from individuals to entire cultures, engaging in the discovery, preservation, and communication of the past and present record to enable a deeper understanding of contemporary society. The humanities encompass literature, classic, ancient, and modern languages, history, philosophy, religion, studies, the fine and performing arts, and other related subjects. I, it can be a challenge to show the benefits the humanities bring in this infographic. We gather up available evidence to show the humanities better. Understanding others in the world through their language, history, and culture. What the humanities do, the humanities are about what it is to be human. They foster social justice and equality. They reveal how people have tried to make moral, spiritual, and intellectual sense of the world. They teach empathy. So how important is the humanity? It's very important. One only needs to turn on the news to see that we need to keep the knowledge of the humanity in understanding other cultures, being able to communicate effectively, realizing the ramifications of history and analyzing human be uh, behavior. The critics say, critics success the humanities of the lacking cultural or economic rebel relevance. They say the humanities have no purpose. They say our academic work is inaccessible to the public. They say humanities students are not immediately employable. They say in times of economic recession, resources should not be spent on study of human condition. They say the humanities are in crisis, but the evidence show a 2002 health survey of the 52 U.S. Foreign Chief Executive Officers and Heads of the Product Engineering showed on 60% had degree in humanities. I think this is really important um, article about humanities to kind of deeper understanding 
and I honestly think that community is really important study because with without it we'll be uh, less um able to um interact with other people when it comes to working in corporations and in the society at the same time because when it comes to um when it comes to working in a corporation we uh, there are so many people from different backgrounds from different cultures they think differently they live different uh, way of life they and I feel that this is something that everybody should be able to um to find a way to educate themselves so we can uh, again uh, have better communication and um uh, we shouldn't use judgment when we don't understand each other because we are different and we are coming from different backgrounds and we are um the thing the things to see again. So here it is uh, again about humanity, some the definitions I found about humanity. Humanity means caring for and helping others whenever and whatever possible. Humanity means helping others at times when they need that help the most. Humanity means forgetting our selfish interests at times when others need our help. Humanity means extending unconditional love to each other in every level of world on earth. So, how do we define humanity? Humanities are academic disciplines that study aspects of human society and culture. The humanities include ancient and modern languages, literature, philosophy, history, uh, geography, law, politics, religion, and art. Scholars in humanities are human scholars of human issues. Why is humanity a virtue? Humanity is a virtue associated with basic ethics of altruism that provide from the human condition. It also symbolizes human love and compassion towards each other. Humanity refers to emergencies in that there is a level of altruism towards individuals included in humanity more so than the fairness found in justice. What are the key characteristics of humanity? The humanity is including the study of languages, literature, history, jurisprudence, philosophy, comparative religion, ethics, and the arts are disciplines, memory, and imagination telling us where we have been and helping us envision where we are going. What are the fundamental principles of humanity? Humanity is partially neutral, independent, voluntary service, unity, and universal unity. These seven fundamental principles sum up the movement ethics and are the core of its approach to helping people in reduce armed conflict, natural disease, and other emergencies. So, these are some of the things I wanted to cover with you today. And uh, I found other articles also for you to be able to understand that humanity is actually the path that we need to, uh, to follow and is to be part of our life in order again to fix the things we don't like in the society. And we should exercise humanity in every aspect in our lives because uh, when it's missing and uh, everything goes uh, in the wrong direction. So here are the 10 qualities every human being should have. Fate. Fate is in yourself and all that you are. Fate in your abilities, fate in life, and fate in your infinity the intelligence that created that us all. Courage. Courage to create the life you deep down inside now that you deserve. To be courage to go where most people don't dare to go. Courage to be the person you are born to be. Love. Love for yourself. Love for your friends. Love for your family. Love for your work. Love for your pets. Love for your planet. And love 
for your life, love for those who love you and love for those who don't. Deep sense of connection, a feeling of belonging and a deep sense of connection to all things, all people and all places. Recognizing yourself in everything and everyone, understanding the honestness of all things. Imagination, the ability to inspire and feel inspired, the capacity to use your mind to create new worlds and discover new ones, to go where no one has ever gone before and craft things that nobody has ever crafted before. Denial of all fearful things. The ability to deny all things that originate from fear, to ignore, reject, and show complete indifference towards those things that cause you to feel separate from your fellow human beings, separate from the world around you, separate from the things you believe and desire, and separate from God himself. Thankfulness. The attitude of gratitude, prizing and giving thanks for the things that are and for the things that are and for the things you already have for the life you are now living and for the many blessings wife sent and will continue to send your way. Open mindedness, a clean and open mind that welcomes everything and everyone without the need to judge, label and condemn the things people and experience that are not aligned with who you are, with what you stand for, and with what yourself believe in. Trust. Trust in the power and wisdom of life. Trust that you are never given more than you can handle. Trust in yourself. Trust in your power and wisdom. And trust in your ability to manifest the things you want to manifest. Detachment. The strength to let go of all things that no longer serve you all places and all people that no longer need or want to be in your life, the ability to let go of your attachment to limitations, fears, doubts, and insecurities, taking your focus away from what you now are placing it onto who you want to become, the strength to let the old you die, to let the old you go so that the new can be born. So, and by simply embracing these three qualities, your whole life you will improve and you will discover yourself to be a greater person by far than you ever did yourself to be. What do you say? What do you think you can embrace these qualities and make them part of your everyday life? So this is very, very important, very beautiful article. It kind of highlights things which are very important in our life uh, to embrace and to um, keep us be to be the kind of a human everyone should be in. That's what I have been kind of a highlighting every time. It's really important to be loved and to be light because when you show love, you show your light, you show your true nature, you show people what everyone should be and hate, violence, separation, close mindedness doesn't help. It makes things very difficult and these are the feelings which we are not born with. These are the feelings we learn uh, through the uh, we learn in life, later in life through all the uh, experiences and uh, the experiences we have which are unpleasant most of the time we need to find the goodness in every experience there is a negative into positive and the thing is some things happen because of our good uh, and these are the lessons we need to learn and um, these lessons will help us grow and help, help us understand each other and understand ourselves at the same time, but it doesn't mean we need to uh, get locked into the darkness. We need to get locked into a hate, into hurting others, into doing things we don't want anybody to do to us. And we need to accept others the way they are. We need to accept others the way they are. And uh, because not all people perceive things the way we do, you know, all people have the self, the same. Uh, the same cultural 
uh, understanding about life and about everything. And we need to try to see the things through their point of view in order to understand them better. This comes to religion at the same time because religion without humanity is not a religion. Religion is not created for us to hate each other and to uh, force our points of view on other people. And if they don't accept our, our points of view, to start hurting them because this is far away from the humanity. And um, different religions are um, created so we can be more interesting as a society, as a world. Uh, it, that's why we have these different countries with different languages because this makes the world more interesting, more, more colorful. And that's why we have uh, different uh, races. There is one race called human race, but that's why we have these different people with different colors and with different features. And even f from the same race, we have people who are different uh, and people who have different faces, different body types, different everything, is because we need to learn to accept and love each other to make the world just a little bit careful. Can you imagine if, if everybody has the same face, the same features, the same way of talking, the same way of understanding, the same way of dressing, shoes we have in the store just one pair of shoes and that's it and one design and everybody wears the same shoes the same dress the same paints the same skirt the same um blouse everything is the same how um do the life is going to be and how do the world is going to be and we speak the same language in every country there is one country no more countries no other countries with different languages how uh, how uh, we are going to feel about it and uh, are we going to be able to uh, have these advanced uh, things like we can do anything with the phones we have we can do anything on the computers we have and uh, if we think the same way uh, and if we are created to be the same with the same brain and with the same purpose if this is going to uh, make uh, things to be peaceful and things to be acceptable and we don't have to uh, have this constant war about trying to change people trying to force our points of view trying to um, tell people how to live their life because we live the life one way then we need to force this our opinion on other people and uh, we need to um, create a congregation a community of people who have a gender to change others and if others don't want to change them we're going to force them we're going to hate them we're going to judge them we're going to target them. We're going to do everything in our power to feed them in our box. So um, is it going to make you feel better? How this is going to um, make things uh, better for everyone? I honestly don't know. So these are the things I'm observing. That's why I'm mentioning them here. And uh, this has to stop because this is not humanity. This is not uh, the way uh, religion is constructed, and this is not what religion is all about. And um, what we are actually witnessing right now, it's uh, not, um, it's a hypocrisy. And uh, society and world without a human humanity, it's not the kind of a world we want to live in. And, in order for us to enjoy life and so and uh, not endure it is to bring humanity back into the world into our society in our communities everywhere in the world and so we can uh, continue to live on this beautiful 
planet and start preserving everything what is given to us and start doing something and uh, together collectively and make a difference and stop these hate wars and these uh, negative uh, things and issues we are facing so we can uh, become the kind of a human first we should be and then we uh, we can start to accepting each other and better understanding each other and accepting each other's different um, religious beliefs and mostly the religion is based on love, compassion and kindness. Without it, we have nothing. So I feel this is something we should start thinking about. It's January 3rd and it's time for everyone to reevaluate who they are, how they act, what they're doing and how they can um, give something from themselves and make a difference. And this comes to the re- religious um, leaders and everyone involved in the war against homelessness, gender inequality, because part of domestic violence uh, is uh, missing uh, the humanity in people and living a turbulent life instead of living a peaceful life. This is one of the reasons and um, for us to face so much uh, domestic violence. Since I work on this issue, and uh, I feel it's time, and the time is always now. And um, instead of sending bad energy to the universe, we need to start fixing all of these issues. Uh, and it takes zero effort because who we are is uh, hu- uh, people with so much humanity inside and so much love. And this is a the kind of humans we are at the moment. It's not who we are in our uh, true self. So this is something I wanted to share with you. Contact me on my website, uh, dianabowaros.com. Download my um, podcast on Speaker, on Player FM, on iTunes. Comment, let me know. Share my podcast again. Subscribe on Block Talk Radio. What we have to do is push the button, subscribe, let me know what kind of topics you wish me to cover, and um, I'll be more than happy to help you with any obstacle you're facing. Please don't allow yourself to become resentful, hateful, and don't get involved in the trap of negativity, because there is a solution for every problem you're facing, and everybody uh needs to understand that there is a solution to everything that is going on in your life. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend and happy new year.